coming in. Oh, I can't get in. I can't open the door. Open the door. Right, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, I'm all flustered. I'm all flustered. I've been... I've been watering the plants. I've been doing it all. Ah, it's Baba Berta here, if you don't know yet. And this is me here in this smelly old shed, and I don't know what I'm going to talk about today. Because I know that I've got to make these programs a little bit shorter because you're not going to watch them. And I offended all, all our friends. Well, some of our friends, the last one, so you're probably not going to watch this one. Anyway, so I've got to say, what have I got to say? That I don't know whether I'm coming or going or going or coming. And I don't know if you can see him, but he's hanging the right way up. That's because of this, uh, the, 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 whatever, the grand son-in-law, he, 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 he knocked the nail and put him up the right way. The right way. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Today, I want to talk about the second wave that I keep hearing about this second wave. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I was sitting with Mrs. O'Rourke and Mrs. O'Brien and me 4,000 friends outside the police station, you know, where we smoke the joy to your lovely lad and all that. They don't understand anything, anything, any, either they all laughing. And we're thinking about what is the second wave? I don't know. I don't know what it, what it means. But I'll tell you what I think it means. What I think it means. What I think. What I think. Go get me Irish accent straight here. Do you know I haven't been to Ireland for so long? Except I was there yesterday. I don't know how I got there because there's no planes. But I did. And I'm back. Back in time to do Boba Berta. Anyway. You're probably no one here watching because I offended all her friends last month. So let me see now. What have I now? I've done such a terrible, terrible edited job because I can't do it. I don't know how to edit. I haven't got a clue. But she hasn't got anyone else, so I've got to do it. I can't let her lie there crying and suffering and, you know, tired. Because I love her. I love her, you know. She's my granddaughter. I love her. She's got her ups and downs and ins and outs and problems, but I love her. Anyway, let me talk about the second wave. This is the old wives' tales. And as I say, we're all sitting there trying to figure out what's going on. I'm not going to go over the same jokes again. You've got to watch the other programs. Now, the first was the garlic. The second was the salt. The third was the umbrellas. The fourth was recycling. The fifth one was offending all the friends. And this is the sixth one now. The sixth one's going to be about the second wave and this where we go one we go all because I'm not sure what that is at all. Not at all. Not at all. Anyway, so and the other thing is if you want to complain about me, that's not fair either. Do you complain about Mrs. Brown's boys? At least I don't have her mouth. And her is not a her, her is a man. I'm a woman. Do you know that? I'm a i I'm a woman. I've got me tits. I've got me bits underneath. I'm allowed to say tits. As you know, I'm not going to do that one again. All about that. I'm not going to do it again. I'm too tired. I'm going to talk about the second wave. Now, when we were little children, that fake, sour-looking thing with the eyes and the, and the little red face and the little red ram face that looks a bit like Churchill, I wonder why. <clears throat> she used to do this, wave to you. She wasn't really waving. It was just a plastic hand they put and it went like this. She doesn't care about any of you. She never did. She never will. Anyway, where she was. <coughs> and we all stand there as little ones go, ah, the queen, the queen, the queen. You know, we'd be clapping. So that's the first wave. But then she did it quite a lot of time, so... How could it be the second wave? So that couldn't be it. Then I thought to myself, it's raining a lot. Could it be something to do with floods? And Do you remember Noah and the ark? Maybe it's something to do with the waves in the sea. I don't know. Could it be that you're telling you that you need to get two animals, one of each sex, and keep them in the shed just in case because there's going to be a second wave? Another flood? I don't know. Anyway, if you understand what this second wave is, then please get back to me. You can find me on that face tube, you know, the Zark Muckerberg thing. 
that ah, oh, they suck Muckerberg, he's got a lot to answer for. He cut off the granddaughter, she's just got out of prison, she was in prison for 70 days because of him. Zark Muckerberg, you should be ashamed of yourself. If I got hold to you, I'll give you a good shake. I tell you, you don't want a shake from Bubba Bertha. Not a shake, not a milkshake, not a chocolate milkshake or strawberry milkshake. I mean a shake. Same as I give the shake to all our so-called friends out there. I pretend to be friends, they're not really friends because they're never there for But that's the other programme. Anyway, coming back to what was I talking about. I can't remember. Oh, I was talking about the second wave, but how did they get to Zark Muckerberg from the second wave? I can't remember. Oh, I'm so tired today, I tell you. I'm like, uh, what was I talking about? What were you talking? Who am I talking to? I keep talking to the rakes and the curtains and there's nothing in there. I promise you there's nothing. See if they answer. Nothing. Nothing answers. There's no one there. There's just me, Bubba Bertha. That's it, me in the smelly old shed. <laughs> the smelly, smelly old shed. We put a duvet on the top of the ceiling to try and stop the rain coming in. It sounds helped a little bit, a little bit. But I can't remember why I started to talk about Zark Muckerberg. It was something today to do with the fact that she was cut off for 70 days of, she was put in prison for 70 days. They put me little girl in prison, my little granddaughter in prison for 70 days. I can't remember. It, because she was talking about these things that you're not allowed to talk about, I think. Anyway, one thing they keep talking about is, apart from the second wave, because I can't remember what it's all about. Maybe you can... Oh, I remember now. I remember. Me mind... Ah, focus, Baba Bertha. Focus. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. Hang on. I'm going to take a deep breath. That's it. I'm taking a deep breath. Now, let me see. It was because I said that you could find me on Mark Zuckerberg's. No, Mark Zuckerberg. His name's not Mark. His name is Zark Muckerberg. I don't know. Do you know Mark Zuckerberg? Zark Muckerberg. Zark Muckerberg. You can find me on Zark Muc Muckerberg's face tube. Uh, if you look for Baba Bertha, B O B B A B E A B E, I can't even spell my own name, B E R T H A, that's it, Baba Bertha. And if you look for B L M, Baba's Life's Matter, if you're stupid enough to go and look, be my guest. It doesn't exist. There's no page called Baba Bertha, Baba Life's Matter. None. None at all. Not on that Zark Muckerberg, not on the Google or Gaggle. Not on the you face, not on the Twitter tweet, not on the Twitter gram, not on the telegram, not on any of them, not on the bit chewing gum, bit chew gum, gum chew, I don't know, gum chew, what's gum chew? No, that's the place they sell things, gum chew, isn't it? With the trees. Oh, I don't know whether I'm coming or going. Anyway. Today I wanted to talk about where we, she makes me say where we go, when we go, not only that, that, I rang them, I rang them on this, this ten phone, I phone, me phone, you phone, don't know what it is, me phone, you phone, their phone, where we go, when we go, what the hell does that mean, where we go, when we go, where do we go? Where do you all go? Because I don't know where you're going. You're going up, you're going down, you're going sideways. You, you can't go on airplanes or boats anymore. You don't go to people's houses because you're social distancing, but you say where we go. So let's take that and dissect it. Let's dissect it. That's a big word. You remember when you used to be in the schools and you took the poor little frog and you dissected it? Oh, I never did that. I never liked those classes, always used to run away. Always had me period when they had those classes. Oh, I hated it. I hated it because we had a frog called Hoppy. Hoppy, Hoppy the frog. Oh, I don't know what, what I'm talking about. What was I talking about? I was talking about where we go, when we go. Oh, she always tells me to say this at the end of the conversations here. I don't know why. She always I, puts it on her face YouTube thing, you face thing with Zark Muckerberg and... Everything's so mad now. I don't know what I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm not gonna say it again. Poor Baba Bertha, I tell you, she's so confused. Anyway. Ah where where are we? Where we go when we go. So first of all, where do you go? 
Where did you go, Cotton Eye Joe? Where did you go, Cotton Eye Joe? You remember the stupid song, Cotton Eye Joe, Cotton Eye Joe? Where do you come from? Where do you go? Where do you go from, Cotton Eye Joe? Where do you go? Where? 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 Where do you go? I don't know. Where we go on? Where we? Who's we? I don't go anywhere. Do you go anywhere? We. Are you going anywhere? Is she going anywhere? Where we? We. Who's we? Where are we going? Where we go? Like Cotton Eye Joe? One. Why only one? Why not ten? Why not eleven? Why Why not a thousand? Why not a million? Wouldn't it be better if where we go a million? We go a million? We go go we go one? We, where we go a million? We go all? That'd be better than a million people would all go together in the same place and I don't know what's going on. It's like a gathering. It's like a bit like sounds like a bit like Woodstock to me, like an orgy of some kind. Where we go one, we go all. Where we go one? Why don't we go a million of us? We again, the we go, we go all. I don't get it. If someone can explain it to me, can you please contact moving on TV1 at gmail.com and explain it to me? Because I'm completely confused about everything and I don't know whether I'm coming or going or going or coming. It's a very difficult time for me to be alive in 2020. 2020! Now, what kind of name of year is 2020? Like, when you're supposed to have 2020 vision. Now, I don't have any. I can't see a, an effing thing, a feckin' thing, as my boyfriend, Father Ted, used to say, oh, we had a nice little affair there. I'm not going to tell you. That Mrs. O'Rourke, or whatever her name is, she tried to get in there, but she didn't. I got in there first. Mm -mm. I can't see a thing. So why am I living in 2020 when they tell you that 2020 is perfect vision and I have to wear these stupid glasses and I still can't see anything. I can't see you, I can't see it, I don't know what I'm talking to. I'm 110 years old, you've got to have some compassion for me. You know, I know the granddaughter watches this and she has a good laugh. I'm really happy that I make her laugh. The poor thing. She's always crying over her friends and her relations. And then she gets up and she does her work and she works and she works. She works 18 hours a day. So I feel sorry for her now. So I'm doing the editing and I'm sorry if I'm making a mess. Why don't you get on and do it instead? That way there won't be a mess. Now will there? Good. I haven't got any money to give her. When I die, and that's going to be quite a while as I'm only 110. It's not going to come soon. She's going to have to manage the poor thing. Anyway, where we go one way go all, don't understand it, as I say, it sounds like Woodstock to me, or that uh, Cotton Eye Joy, where we go, where we go, how does that go? Here we come for, here we go, here we go, so Cotton Eye Joe, Cotton Eye Joe, Cotton... I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll play it, and then, then, then you'll get the published rubbish society, like my friend Edith, Edith Piaf calls it, Piaf, she calls it the public rubbish society, let's play it, a little bit of Cotton Eye Joe. Terrible, terrible song. Cotton Eye Joe. You can all, here we are, sung by the rednecks. I'll just play a tiny bit or else there'll be loads of problems with the youth place. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you go from Cotton Eye Joe? Where did you come from? Where did you go from Cotton Eye Joe? Right, that's all I can play. Because if I play any more of that, I'll have the youth face come down. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Cotton Eye Joe. Is that where you all go? When you go where you, where you go one, you go all. You all go to Cotton Eye Joe somewhere? Oh, I'll tell you. Anyway, I don't know what else to talk about because I've got to keep these programs brief, she told me. So we're going. she's going to divide them up into smaller programs, or I am. I'm going to do all the editing. So before I go, I just wanted to say, I don't know what I wanted to say. The world has gone mad. You see, they're knocking again. That's the ones I was knocking before. Now they answer me. I tell you, they're about a day behind these spirits. I asked them what the feck is going on. Oh, yes, I was going to tell you about my affair with Father Ted. Oh, lovely, lovely man. We got past the religious thing because I was born Jewish, as you know. Jewish, Irish, Baba Berta, you got, you know, like this Baba, special Yiddish mama, grand, grandmother. Anyway, I met him. I met him in school, you know. I met him in school. We used to sit together in the classroom. 
And he'd sit there and he was always, he wanted to be, you know, he wanted to be a, a priest. And I told him, you know, I'm Jewish, you know, we can't get together because I'm Jewish. And oh, I said, that's all right, you know, don't worry about it. We're going to be great friends. Anyway, we became great friends. We became the best friends ever, me and the lovely father, Ted. Oh, and then that stupid, stupid Dougal came to live with them. Oh, I tell you, I tell you. As soon as he came to live with them, something went wrong there. Something went wrong there. You know, that's it. The people that are walking around wearing the masks, that are wearing the shields, that are wearing the goggles, that are, they're, they're a bit like him. They should call them all Dougals. Let's call them Dougals from now on. Instead of calling them bah, sheep, let's call them Dougals. I think Dougals is a good name. Because he didn't have a brain, that Dougal. He didn't have a brain at all. But, you know, Ted felt sorry for him, so he took him in. He took him in. Anyway, that's a story for another time, you know, for Ted. I'm getting very tired here, very tired. And I've got to meditate a little bit. I've got to go and meditate. The granddaughter says I've got to do some meditation. Meditation. Don't get me started. What does that mean? To meditate. 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 Oh, she wants me to take some meditation. Oh, no, I'm not taking any meditation. Oh, I must have taken meditation. I thought she was against meditation. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What's wrong with her? She won't take any meditation. Why should I? Anyway, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to go on to the face tube thing now. And because she's out of prison, I can tell them. I can ask them for help because I'm saying that the granddaughter wants me to take meditation. I'm going to go now. But I'm sending out a, a big, a big help here for all of you to come and save me before she gets me on the meditation. <laughs> Thank you. 